Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Awful Creepy Pastas. Today we are joined by my friend Eric. Hello. Who you may know from a couple of videos back maybe we made a couple of years ago. Um, so today's story was requested by Dawnflower, and it is called Slowly Going Crazy. It was moved to the Crappy Pasta Wiki. So it's going to be some fun. Um, here we go. Before, real name. Orion Soul Geneva. <laughs> and then in and then in parentheses, Geneva. <laughs> Gender, female. Age, 17. Birthday, May 10th. Height, 5'2". Weight, around 98 pounds. Holy crap. <laughs> Do we really need to know? Skin, pale and fair. Hair, pitched black, wavy long, <laughs> past waist. It has a silver sheen. You just described... <laughs> don't don't <laughs> eyes heterochromia what the heck? and cobalt blue left forest green <laughs> what is <laughs> what does that mean so heterochromia heterochromia on the right eye cobalt blue on the left eye forest <laughs> green no they're talking about the face now <laughs> your face is forest green fears slash dislikes claustrophobia Blood. Oh, maybe there's not going to be blood in this one. Oh. Likes, drawing, humming, reading, quietness, archery. Only her dad knows. <laughs> she will oh, rarely God. miss. <laughs> and she likes swordplay. So she's left-handed and ambidextrous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's like saying I play the flute, but I play all instruments. <laughs> all right, here we go. Orion, the good girl and only child. She'd always get straight A's. She was always, she was always was on time <laughs> and never went to parties where drinking was possibly involved as she thought they were pointless and dangerous. Plus, she hated alcohol, <laughs> drugs, and the like. Why didn't you mention this earlier? <laughs> um, the girl had a small group of friends, a very small group, that consisted of three people, Mary, Lydia, or Marie, Lydia, and a boy named Max. <laughs> The reason she had such a small group was, well, dot, 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 she really didn't like people, dot, 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 though she only truly cared about one of the three at first, Max, whom she'd been friends with since she was three. Okay. She used to hang out with Max while with his other friends, in and out of school, but hated how some looked at her seeing her as a piece of meat. <laughs> what? Just a pretty quiet girl. <laughs> Which one? Her other friend. Oh, poop. Her other friend, Marie, was just a girl that hung out with Orion after school so she could get help with her homework. She looked rather like Orion, both having long black hair, although Marie's was ridiculously straight. <sighs> Run on sentence. Um, opposed to Orion's more wavy hair. Lydia, the more popular one, hung out with her partially for the same reason. But, she also, but also because she felt sorry for her, always seeing Ori <laughs> either alone or with Max. 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 She mostly stayed with her other friends, though. Orion was always socially awkward to begin with, as she never liked drawing attention to herself. Though with how good of a student she was, the attention was sure to come anyway, not to mention her eyes. She has heterochromia, a disease where both eyes are different colors. Oh, okay. okay now you explain that. Her left. But not the green. No, they're going to explain it again. Her left, which was a pretty shade of green and forest... Pretty Tree, shade of trees green. Were growing out of her eyes. <laughs> her <laughs> left, which was a pretty shade of green, forest green, and her right color, and her right, which was colored cobalt. Ah, blue. there you go. At first, in class groups, freshman year to mid junior year, she'd work with others awkwardly, so, but she'd still do it. After a while, however, no, she but she still do it. <laughs> <laughs> At first, in class groups, freshman year to mid junior year, she'd work with others awkwardly, so. But she still do it. <laughs> After a while, however, she insisted on doing projects herself. This is partially because her father left one day, <laughs> on the day before her 16th birthday to be exact, May 9th. After her so dad left, Ori her. shut herself up like a clam. <laughs> what? <laughs> and, <she> stopped <laughs> and stopped speaking altogether until several months later. Her dad was her best friend. Apart from Max. <laughs> <laughs> her, 
So her dad left her, and then her dad is her best friend a few months later. Apart from Max, but it isn't capitalized, so. And her mom was usually at work, so her dad made up for it. He was always creating fun things to do and helping her with whatever she needed help with, like archery and swordplay. Orion loved it, and her dad was the only one who knew. Oh, there you go. After he left, though, she never touched a bow again. A special hunting one, along with a large knife, lied collecting dust under the floor of her... F under the floor of the <laughs> father's study. Under. In that time... Well, what? Well, I just skipped the paragraph. Before Ori started speaking, then she learned sign language and made do with that. And her mother and her mom tried hard to be there for her, but slowly became serious, severely depressed. Wait, who became severely depressed? The mom or Orion? <laughs> I, I don't know. Orion started to have some thoughts of suicide, but came to her senses and blocked them out. She drew pleasant things to give to her mom to help. Wait, what? <laughs> drew pleasant things? In that time, Marie got very close to Orion, comforting her, saying it'd be okay. Then one day she left her, saying... Here, you can do this voice. You're a voiceless, creepy little freak. No wonder your father left you. <laughs> she was an exchange student from some weird place. She had then she had then dumped a very she sticky drink on Orion's head and left while laughing. Maybe it was whiskey. After, of course, tossing her a few tissues just to give her a better image. <laughs> yeah, of course. I hate you. Here's some tissues. <laughs> how, how, how was this provoked anyway? Just, okay. It turned out that Marie never cared and thrived on hurting others. The girl was able to spin it as an accident as no one had actually heard what she said and that's what it looked like. An accident. <laughs> an Only accident. Lydia and Ori knew what happened, but Lydia promised to keep quiet at Ori's request. That was the time Orion first started having homicidal thoughts. Didn't you already... Oh, yay. Talk about this? No, she talked about suicidal, but now she's oh, got that... homicidal. Oh. Then as the weeks, months went on, she and Lydia became closer friends, her being the one that kept Marie at bay just by hanging out with Ori, though this was soon though this was unknown to said friend. Max was soon to graduate and Orion's evil thoughts went away for a while. Until Lydia moved and Marie started torturing Orion instantly and almost every day. And she never told anyone, not even Max, she'd gained her voice back, but she didn't use it. That means you don't have it back! She couldn't use it. Marie was at first frustrated at Orion's unresponsiveness. Because Orion truly wasn't bothered by her tactics. Until she was bothered and started... Until she learned that Max didn't know and started to weave her way into his life, taking him away from Orion and leaving all, her all alone. Sometimes, Max would try to talk to her, but she constantly avoided him, feeling hurt by just looking at him. And Marie always complained about him leaving her alone. This is not making any sense. <laughs> this is really weird social interaction. Like, what's going on? <laughs> like, is this like... Like, what did Marie do to Max that made them stop hanging out? Mm -hmm. just, there's, no. there's just awkward tension that Doesn't is based off of nothing. Mm -hmm. this game keeps it, um... yeah. Okay, um... At this point, Orion started having both homicidal and suicidal thoughts again and tried to kill herself. But much to her astonishment, learned that she had a very high tolerance to drugs. Well! And, and, and soon gave up, seeing that she was being stupid. Besides, she wasn't going to cut herself. She didn't like blood. Yeah. And hanging was a no. Since the very thought made her feel claustrophobic. <laughs> What? Hanging makes her feel claustrophobic. I mean, I whoa. Orion started drawing messed up and very detailed pictures of monsters, mutilated people, bloody weapons. Even though you don't like blood. And really anything that came to mind, good or bad, just sounds like some emo people. One night, while drawing, she had gotten a call from Marie. A dot dot dot. With moaning on the other end. <sighs> oh, oh. It wasn't from Max's number, and the mail on the other line certainly wasn't Max. Unless Max changed his name to Justin. <laughs> plot twist. No. M. Night Shyamalan plot twist. <laughs> Avatar The Last Airbender. What? <laughs> Avatar The Last Airbender, you know the movie? Oh, M. Night Shyamalan made that. Um, 
and that was it. She recorded it and approached Max the next day after school while Marie was with him. Luckily, he still cared, and seeing that she was finally willing to talk to him, listen. What the heck is going on? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you want to talk to me. Okay. <laughs> the next, the, the next, next paragraph, paragraph is a dash. 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 Right. Next. Okay, here we go. Marie was glaring at Orion the second she came into view, but Ori had a trick up her sleeve, and she gave the former friend a small smile. Yeah, that's really great scary. trick. Really scary. <laughs> Max looked over at Marie and seeing her gaze on his childhood friend stood I'll be right back <laughs> Then he got up and went to Ori despite Marie's protests Orion smiled at Max Who do you want to be? Do you want to be Orion? Um, yeah, sure Hi, Ma Hi, Ma Hi, Ma <laughs> Hi, Ma What's up? What are you doing here? You're my childhood friend the girl was enveloped in a bone-crushing hug that cut off her speech. <laughs> <laughs> he died the next What morning. the heck? Hey. Dot, dot, dot. He smiled and held her at arm's distance, but his smile soon turned into a strut. <laughs> Wait, let me just analyze this. So, so far in this story, this Marie girl abandons this depressed girl, and then one night, she gets a call... From this Marie girl, <laughs> and has moaning on the other end. So she tells Max, and Max starts talking to her again. There's been no explanation of anything that's going on. It just nope. No, I mean I think I. No. I mean like if I if I was if I even had done something with a girl, and then the girl that likes why me. Why would she call? <laughs> no, no, nothing beats the fact that oh this Marie girl. Okay, if I was doing something with her, why would I even talk to the girl that she sent the call to? Why did she call in the first place? I don't know. <laughs> um, let's move on. Like Marie's a How are you? <laughs> How are you? He looked worried. But better now, da da da. Um, da da da. Matt, da da da. <laughs> she yeah. started, but was cut off again. She was cut off in the middle of her dot dot dot. <laughs> she was cut off again. Marie was c calling him. <laughs> More moaning. No. Glancing over at her, he sighed. Marie, dot dot dot. I'm busy. <laughs> this is the most awkward speaking I've ever start seen in a story. Okay. It's worse than that other one that we read. It really is. <laughs> Marie, I am busy. <laughs> Getting busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Orion could feel his annoyance. Orion could feel his. Isn't Orion a girl? Yes. Oh no. Orion could feel oh. his annoyance, though his hands. <laughs> they Orion could feel his annoyance, though his hands, <laughs> as they tensed slightly. Max was still holding on to her, still, like he was making sure she didn't run. Marie visibly pouted, but as soon as Max looked away, her face contorted into a full-out death glare at Orion. She could see her mouth move, saying, Bitch! Go away! <laughs> da da da. <laughs> this is a clear da da da. No, no she terrible. mouthed that. Just... <laughs> With a death glare. Ori smiled slightly at Max and hugged him, much to his surprise. I think. Oh, wait, is this... Oh, this is you. I think. Da da da. We need to talk in private, da da da. Oh. Lots of da da da. She said, looking up at her friend, her pale, troubled face earning her a nod from him. <laughs> As they exited the mu- Wait a second! As they exited the view of Marie, Ori pulled out her phone. I- I, I got a call last night, da da da. <laughs> she played the recording of Marie and apparently Wait. someone named Justin together. Marie came around the corner, eyes wide at the sounds. You did it! You little slut! <laughs> she's, see, I told you, she's an exchange student! <laughs> she gasped as her own last words came from the f came through the phone. Hope you enjoyed it. What the heck? <laughs> she what? snatched Orion's phone and tried to delete it, but it was locked and on repeat! <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it! Hope you enjoyed it! Why'd you even Hope phone you enjoyed call? it! Delete it! Delete. 
She Dear screamed Nate. as Max sat there in shock. Then as Ori shook her head, Maria attacked her, tossing her phone in Ori's face and wrapping her hands around her throat. That is, she would have had Orion not spr She would have had Orion not sprayed her in the <laughs> face with pepper spray. Of course! And she Max was... hadn't pushed her away. <laughs> took lessons from All of that happened. No, Max didn't get hit in the face with pepper spray. Stay away from her! He yelled, now standing between her and Ori. We are done, you cheating psycho! Dot, dot, dot! <laughs> he glared and picked up Ori's phone. Knowing her password, got on and stopped, but didn't delete the recording. Got on and stopped? <laughs> he got, got on, he stopped the got recording, on the phone. but he didn't delete it. What the hell? What? what? I'm still confused. No, why the did they hell? send it why in the first place? Why would he keep something like that? Why? It's like, hey, my, my girlfriend's cheating on me. Better save it. Gotta <laughs> save this moaning. Yeah. Well, actually, he's not going to be using it because he's going to be putting it in Ori's pocket as the next sentence says. Oh, yeah. He, why did she want it? I don't know. Got on a stop. She put it in Ori's pocket and hugged her tight as the school officer came around. <laughs> His tall six-foot figure dwarfing the sounds just like Thomas. It is Thomas. Dwarfing her short five-foot-two frame. Seeing Marie crying in pain on the floor while clutching her face. Orion being hugged by Max with a small canister of pepper spray at her feet. <laughs> and not to mention... in. Capital letter, her bleeding forehead. Da, da, da. He called an ambulance to come pick them up, then called the trio's parents. The trio's parents. After the hospital business. After the hospital yeah. stuff Why? happens, you know. Get what the me. heck is this? And after a few statements from witnesses, including Lydia, who informed them how it started over facts. <laughs> the bitch Marie was taken away and put in the JHDC, the spelled wrong juvenile <laughs> hall detention center until she turned 18 in a few months, where she would possibly be prosecuted as an adult for the remainder of her time for her assault on Orion. That sounds like a sci-fi film. Assault on Orion. Attack on Titan. Unless assault he could Orion. convince the judge otherwise. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> dash another, again. Another dash paragraph. After the target was free from Orion's back, everything went back to normal. Or that's what it, or that's what it seemed like. <laughs> Several months passed.